What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? The drama with Swift continues. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So let's, let's back up a little bit. How long has it been since you left Swift and that's in that 28K situation? That's that got to be about five months now. That happened yeah. back in what, February? No, no, it happened. Well, no, it hasn't been five months. It's, it happened back in um, July. Okay, so July, August. In four months. July, August, September, October, and now this is what, November 3rd, November 2nd. Mm -hmm. So three months and some change. Yep. Okay, so within that, within that whole three month period, um you you've been bouncing uh, from the oil fields because you've been you've been doing the oil, you've been doing the oil fields for a little bit. Uh, yeah. You you came yeah. you 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 came back up north to take care of some home issues, uh, mm -hmm. and then you decided to jump with Super Ego and the drive with the owner operator or to drive a truck for owner operator. Uh, right. So that. That's been going okay, I guess. But, mm -hmm. race, but we're not but, up. but we're not talking about super ego. That's that's a whole no. nother that's a whole nother uh <laughs> video, but Swift is still being a pain in your ass. So Yes, they are. So JB Hunt called you. Yes. Take it from there. Uh, JB Hunt called me for a, I got on a wait list for a um, position, local position. And um, it finally came up, um, but I let them know that I was relocating to another city. Um, but uh, they put me on the list. They calculated my time at first and said I didn't have enough um driving experience because you needed six months. They're saying it wasn't it wasn't six it wasn't six months hadn't come yet. So they canceled the hiring process then. Then they called me back again because they said that they would in fact take me for that position. Position came open, they needed somebody to fill it. Okay. Okay. Cool. And by the time I would get hired, the the two or three weeks that would give me six months of experience would have passed. Okay. So awesome, awesome. So I went went through everything, all um, questions, application, um, drug test is scheduled for when I arrive in Shreveport to take um, the a weekend position. Awesome. Intermodal. Okay. Okay. And um, sounds good. 56, we we, we sounded good 56, so far. Okay. Two thousand miles. Uh, fifty six cents a mile. Okay, that that's good Stop for pay. That's good for a new driver. You know that, that that's yeah. not that's not a bad that's not a bad amount for you. Uh, fifty three cent yeah. a mile. Uh, you 56 know, fifty six. How much you was how, how much you was doing that Swift before? Uh, fifty five, just a penny more. Okay, not that's bad, good. not bad. Continue, continue. And um. Also, only travel between like four states: Louisiana, Oklahoma, Texas, and I forgot the other state. But yeah, sweet, it's like three or four states. Yeah, okay. Home, out five, four days. I mean, out five days, back home too. Sweet, but it starts on the weekend. Yeah, okay. Um, everything seems to be great. Drug test is scheduled a couple of days, okay. and get a call. Get a call stating that they will be stopping the application because they did a pre-report that they pulled wait, a pre-report. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. I I was excited. Heart racing. <laughs> I, I, I've, I I mean, adrenaline pumping over here. 
like everything is going great. We about to make 50 cents, 56 cent a mile home to I'm mean, at home on the weekends out for five days, go through four states. Let's do this. And now wait, they stopped the hiring process for you because of, a, because of a pre-report. Now is this, pre- the, I asked her, is this uh, a like DAC a pre- report? This is not a DAC report. Okay. <laughs> there is a pre-report that they can pull electronically. And she a said the, ac- the so-called accident, which was not an accident. Right. <laughs> showed up <laughs> as an accident. And she said, I would, I would need six more months of safe driving experience before they would even consider Hire me at their company. Wow. Okay, so let me get this straight. They they pulled up. You know, I I heard of companies doing that now, like like mega carriers amongst each other. You know, like mm-hmm. like Swift, Snyder. <gasps> excuse me, Swift, Snyder, and the rest of the mega uh, prime. The mega carriers. They yes. they are able to have like internal private conversations amongst each other as far as yep. as as far as uh you know drivers jumping from company to company i never knew right. that i mean i i i i was you know i i guess i guess being as old as i am i guess i'm just naive to the old ways of how employment supposed to work <laughs> Like Mm -hmm. if you, if you quit a job or if you get fired from a job and another job calls that company to get, you know, verifiable information, they only supposed to give, yes, they work there and this is how long they work there and that's it. They're not even supposed to. They're not even supposed to give information on the reason why you was terminated or the reason why you quit. Yes. The only thing they are, the only thing that I was up under the assumption that these companies would give is the fact that if you're rehirable, you know, they'll turn around and be like, well, is this candidate uh, rehirable with your company? And then they could probably say yay or nay. And that's it. Okay. Thank you. Please come again. They're, they're not supposed to. They're not supposed to baller block you from 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 any other opportunity that you may be looking at. And that's what they're doing. I feel like they are <laughs> blackballing me. And so, w- why would you not put nothing on my DAC report? Why would you not? I don't even have an accident on my license. The, they said it is not an accident. Oh, so anonymous. The, the, the you, police. I I never received a ticket from a police officer. So you so, so you it just never doesn't make sense. So you never received a ticket. You never no. had nothing on on your uh on your on your DAC report. You never had nothing on your license. How was no. they How was they making that as an incident? You was you was stuck in the ditch. You was making the oh. left. You was making the left turn too. You know too soon. And you know, rookie mistake. Rookie. I wasn't stuck in the ditch though. All I two citizens came out. Uh, oh, okay, and we, we, I was we, getting uh, ready to uh, 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 be uh, stuck uh, in a uh, ditch. Uh, uh, <laughs> we we don't have to go. We don't have to go that far. All okay. we had to oh, all we had to do is just say that you were stuck in the ditch. So let's just leave it at okay. that. Uh, okay. You was right. you 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 were stuck in the ditch. You. You made the, you know, you made the turn too soon. You're a rookie, a rookie mistake, a rookie mistake. And that wasn't even that. And to be honest with you, Swift, that wasn't even grounds for termination. Be real, be honest. Tell the truth, Swift. The reason why you fired this young lady is because of the 28 fucking K toll bill that y'all had to pay. Yep. That was it. That was it. But y'all not, y'all, y'all over here baller blocking this young lady, but y'all not telling, 
Y'all not telling these people about y'all wanted her to jeopardize her license. Y'all not telling them. Y'all not saying nothing about that, though. Nope. Y'all not saying that nothing. They made me drive. They, they y'all, made me drive. Y'all not saying. Right. Swift. Y'all not saying nothing to, to J.B. Hunt and telling them, hey, well, you know, we wanted her to drive all the way down to Kentucky without her license. Or or her credentials. Y'all y'all wanted her to y'all 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 wanted her to to jeopardize her 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 license sorely because y'all wanted to get a load in Kentucky on time, but yet she's driving and without no a license, book. no permit that book, a, a raggedy the third. What? Let, let's let's the, put the, it in. The, hold up now. <laughs> let's put it in a block. Let's put it in a block. <laughs> A raggedy ass truck. No permit. The third raggedy ass the truck. Third on the, re- the third re- raggedy ass truck. No permit book. In a book. two week period. No permit book. And and her license is up in the motherfucking Virginia Richmond area. But yet y'all want her to drive that raggedy ass truck with no permit book and no driver's license. But yet y'all baller blocking her because of an accident, a rookie accident at that. How many Swift? Let me sit down. Swift, sit down. Sit down. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you, Swift. How many drivers that y'all got on y'all roster that been in much more situations as this young lady right here? She was only stuck in the ditch, Swift. But you got drivers out there that's driving off the medium, tearing up buildings, coming up under uh, coming up under 1110 bridges, making motherfucking U-turns in the middle of the motherfucking highway. You know, blocking the fuel islands, well that that's here nor there. But they doing they doing like major major infractions out here. And the only thing this young lady, ha- what happened to this young lady is that she was stuck in the ditch. That was it. Basically a rookie, a, blowout, a, a, rookie it. a rookie mistake. A rookie mistake. And y'all, and y'all blacklisting this young lady because of a pre-report? Y'all not even... From what I under, like I said, maybe I'm naive because you know I'm old and I come from, you know, I come from a corporate world. I come from fast food world. I come from I come from all sorts of worlds, and in those worlds, when you quit a place and go to another place, they they only supposed to tell when you work there. And and if you're rehirable or not, they're not supposed to say, well, we fired her because uh, of the accident. It wasn't an accident. She wasn't in no accident. Nobody got hurt. The truck didn't get damaged. The truck and trailer didn't get damaged. Y'all just mad because of the 28K that the motherfucking tow service suckered your ass out of. And now y'all still, still, three, four months later, still being the thorn in this young lady's side, man. You guys fucked her over. Bankrupted this young lady. Yep. I mean, she had to give up everything. Her fucking home, her fucking car, and all like that. All because y'all, all because y'all mad because uh, of a twenty eight fucking k tow bill that that the tow company suckered y'all ass out of. Boy, oh boy, you know what? Anonymous, please by whatever you do, man, because this right here, this what makes people go suicidal. This what makes people go to, you know, go homicidal. Go homicidal. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, they, thank you. Go hum, go homicidal, man, for real. Like when that dude, 
when that dude went to Chicago, y'all see what happened? Swift, y'all y'all not paying attention, Swift. Y'all see what happened to that California uh, family? Y'all see what happened to that, right? That dude went and massacred the entire family over fucking money. And didn't care about the baby. Didn't and even didn't, care about the eight-month-old. And didn't care about the baby. And then you he got... He wanted his whole generation gone. Mm. Because he felt like he destroyed his generation, mm -hmm. you know? And he that's what these, his these companies doing with this money, with the rates, with everything, with the fuel. They know they, that money is there. They just hold, people at the top just holding on to it. Just like, Jer just like Jeremy messed with that man's money. You see what he did? He went homicidal and then committed suicide. Look, Anonymous, I, you know, I, I know you got a support group. You got a family, you know, just definitely keep your head up, girl. I mean, this, you, 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 you was, you was so, so, so happy months back when you yep. got your license, even after that little, that little spat with the, with, with the, with the local trucking school. Right. I mean, you was literally like happy was with 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 Swift. Got you was praising Swift at one point. Yeah. But for them to my, turn my but, whole training. But for but them the myth, but <laughs> afterwards it turned into a nightmare. My dreams, I'm like Martin Luther King. <laughs> my dream has turned into a nightmare. <laughs> Well, I laugh to keep them crying, you know. Well, listen, you 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 said that you about to make the power move down to down to Louisiana. Um, yep. Hopefully, uh, grateful for my family. Yeah. Helping me to do that. Yeah. Uh, when you get down there, you know, just get some breathers, looking in deep because there are, you know, even though a lot of and and listen, I know a lot of people being over here talking about, oh well. You know, all, all you got to do is find a trucking company and get into it. You got your license. No, it is hard. It is hard. And this young lady right here is proof positive of that. Proof positive of that. That's what we do over here at the Lockout Man podcast show. We talk to real people over here. Not none of that cookie cutter shit that y'all see over on the other channel. That changed his name. We're not going there, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's focus. <laughs> you, you say lockout, man. Don't 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 lose focus. <laughs> don't lose focus. I'm I'm here. I'm I'm back. Sometimes you know my age just my my age takes over. I'm just saying. I know. I know. My age grumpy, takes grumpy over. Little old, that little old man on your shoulder, little grumpy old man. <laughs> Uh, anonymous, <laughs> uh, as always, thank you very much for sharing. I mean, I know, I know this is this this is hard, this is hurtful, but you know, yep. definitely, I appreciate you coming over here talking to me. You know, getting it off your chest. You know, um, I I appreciate I appreciate you. You know, sharing this with me and sharing it with the audience because you know this is something that you can this is something that you definitely could keep bottled up and next thing you know i'll i'll, I'll see you on a i'll see you on a news report and i i don't want to see that so any with a, with it, a chainsaw all you know, in, in, <laughs> any any time pull a martin on a martin mother on them <laughs> anytime anytime yeah. you need to talk man you need to get you need to get something off your chest or something like that. Uh, definitely uh, hit me up. Okay, let me get back focused. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a ten thousand dollar bill to pay. They sent my bill to collections. It's ten thousand dollars. How about that? Oh my God! The <laughs> wait the 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 school school yes the school. <laughs> How about that? Oh my God! So not only that they're baller blocking you from getting with uh, JB Hunt or another company of that matter, 
they still want their ten thousand now, ten thousand dollars. Like how much was it when if you was work for him? I thought it was five. Mm -mm. It it was seven thousand when I um yeah for you, because they paid for your room and board seven it was about seven thousand and yeah. now and and, and and now it's ten it's up to it's ten because the company you know that they to know to add their money on there too man listen I tell you what I'm a totally in in since I started school in April this is November man April to November I am I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I am. Almost forty thousand dollars in debt. Wow. Mm. Yeah. The car. Mm. <laughs> Swift bill. Mm. Apartment. <laughs> yeah. Anonymous man. Again, yeah, I, but... I I do appreciate you. Um, keep your head up, man. I mean, something something yeah. got to turn. Some something got got to turn. Yeah. It just got to. Yeah. You know, uh, shout out to your family. Make sure, Thank make you. sure that your family, make sure that you take care of you because I, I don't want you to, I don't want you to turn homicidal, man. I mean, I know all all of this pressures and all like that, man. Yeah, I feel you. I'm not like that though. I have faith. Keep it. I have faith. Keep it, man. Keep it. And I try to focus on the good things that I'm still above ground. Keep and, it. You know, if I'm above ground, I still got, I still can do something. You know? Exactly. You yeah. know, you still got, you still got your son that loves you. Your son helps you out. Your nephew, your family is all coming together. You know, I like that, man. And that's, and that's important. You know, shout out to your family. My mom's, yes. my mom's just turned 70. So, and I'm, I'm still blessed yeah. to have her in my life, man. So shout out to your family, man. So. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me on?